My little friend came to see me again today. Yeah, he's a sweet kitty. Yes, he is. Evidently, he's not very hungry because I just gave him a chicken bone that had meat on it. And he doesn't seem too interested in it. Oh, well. <laughs> but one reason, look at there, he's following me around. <laughs> Come on, kitty. One reason I got on here is I found a little watermelon. And I know it's not going to have time to do anything. <laughs> Let me show my watermelon. You see there? That was like that first watermelon that I was able to find that I picked. But this one is not because it's already half brown. It's not warm enough. But see, I had that watermelon vine right there growing right down alongside of the cantaloupes or the early dew melons. And that is the watermelon vine right there. That is the watermelon vine. So I know to plant those same watermelons next year in the spring. And uh, hopefully they'll do something. I need to come out here and get the rest of these little early melons too. Because that one's starting to turn yellow. And this one is too, but see the vine that it's on is still green so it's still feeding that watermelon I mean that early dew melon so I'm going to leave it there for a few more days I've got three in the house that I picked and there's three left out here but yeah that I, I was tickled to death to see that other watermelon that came on there even though I know it's not going to do anything it's too late in the season Too late in the season. But I just go to show you that was another watermelon. If it was earlier in the season, I'd have another one to pick. And I've been throwing uh, food scraps and stuff in my buckets. And when I break down all these vines, Pretty soon, I'm going to start putting those in the buckets, too. And I need to go buy me a couple of pumpkins since I didn't plant any for Halloween. And I can always put the rinds and other stuff in those buckets as well. So, like I said, I left those couple of okra. And that one down there, let them dry up for seed, and then I'll pick them off. But see, I've still got little squash. And tomato right there. That's the first tomato that plant's had. And this one here is getting a little tomato on it. So yeah, and I've been picking the tomatillos and my poor ground cherries, they fall and the ants get to them before I can get to them because I never did put the net under them like I should have. But it did get down to, I think about 35 or 36 the other night, but that wasn't enough to even phase my plants. I mean, my peppers are still beautiful. Everything's still living. So. But I do need to come out here and pick my t the rest of my peppers. 
and go ahead and make some more cowboy candy with them. I've just been putting it off. I was going to let the peppers get as big as they'll get before I tried to pick them. And my moringa tree is loving its new home in the five-gallon bucket. You see, my peppers are turning red now. They're, they're green in the, at first, and then they turn red. And then, of course, that big one. <laughs> yeah, we've got warm days now. I mean, you can wear your shorts again today. And my jolly green tree collards are liking it. I noticed there was some bugs getting on that one, so I went ahead and fixed some netting to go over my uh, five-gallon buckets to keep the bugs off of them until they get a chance to grow a little bit and, you know, get a little bit more mature so they don't kill the plant. And I think that one's liking it since I got rid of some of the water. Seems to be doing a little bit better. And my radishes, they're trying to spring back from where I planted them, transplanted them the other day. And look at there. I've got tomato plants coming up in everything. I don't know if I can keep those over the winter months if I put them in a jar of water or a glass of water. I've never tried to keep plants over the winter, the winter months in the inside. It won't be warm enough in the greenhouse for them because it'll get cold enough it'll kill the. It will definitely kill the uh, tomato plants. Look there, I got a couple of bell pepper back there. Can't see it for the leaves but there's two of them back there leave them on there a few more days before i pick them yeah the tomatoes the green tomatoes are everywhere so that little bit of cold didn't hurt them at all in fact they probably liked it a little bit those are just a little bit bigger than the other ones so i don't think that they're cherry or grape tomatoes they're something else that one is too because it's just Look there, and pick that one. It's just now starting to get tomatoes, and they're about the size of an egg, maybe. I came out here and picked all the ripe tomatoes that I could find off of these other bushes because I didn't want the ants to get to them. I know I picked a couple, and I ended up just throwing them down in the tub down there. You can see them because the ants got into them and, you know, made holes through them and I didn't want them. So I threw them in there and I said maybe that'll make some more volunteer uh, plants for next year. Yeah, I've been picking these and they, they keep ripening up every day that I come out here. They're, they're ripening. Every day I can pick a tomato. <laughs> There's a little brandy wine ones. I'm going to pick a couple of those two because they look like they're ripe enough. Yep, it was, but to see the difference in them, the brandy wine ones will turn almost a brandy color when they're fully ripe. They're, they're, they stay kind of a green color and like a brandy wine color or brandy color. But yeah, I got to get on here and pick all my peppers. Make some more cowboy candy or do something with them. Yeah, I wasn't about to let my the bugs get my 
Jolly Green tree collard since I had to order them and they're not cheap. So you only, I only needed two because I can propagate them later when they get bigger and make more. But I don't want great big tree trees. I want, I'm not going to let them get more than five or six foot tall. And I'll break the tops off of them and start new ones because I don't want them so big I can't handle them. More peppers. More peppers. <laughs> and that looks like a habanero because it's it's a little stunny looking one, but it may not be because it's on that bush with that one. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my uh, little pig that I planted, I mean made the other day and posted that video of. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of hot peppers. And like I said, I only plant them really to keep the, the ants away from the plants. Ants and, I mean, hot peppers and marigolds are two things you need to add to your garden if you don't already have them. Is because they help keep ants and other bugs away from your plants. And I don't know, I don't know if that is a cucumber. It looks almost like a, can't tell where I'm showing it. I can't tell if that is a cucumber or a, some type of melon started there. And there's another one right there. Well, the sun is shining. You can't see there. There's one right there. So I mean, I'm going to get some more melons or cucumbers from this vine. I'm thinking it's a cucumber. Looking up in here really good because you never know. <laughs> like I said, I come out here and look one day. I don't see anything. I come back the next day and I see more. And I see them peppers over there. Pretty one. But I didn't want to make this a long um, video. I just wanted to get on here and give you an update and show you that watermelon. So I know to plant those next year because I already harvested that one watermelon off of it. That I almost stumbled into because I didn't see it. And then I've got another little one started, so I know for sure that's the kind I'm going to plant next year. And hopefully it's not going to be 105 or 110 degree weather, and I'll be able to harvest some watermelons. And with that, I am going to bid you a good day. Y'all have a blessed day. Like, share, subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you on the next video.